Hello. Decided to take the great mass adventure on the road today. I'm here at the lower falls of the Soto Falls. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot your mass video here. Just wanted to give you guys a different look of background scenery as we go through. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Welcome to the first video for lesson 1-2. There's going to be four videos in this lesson, so let's make sure that we watch all four of those. But let's go ahead and jump into the notes for this first video. So this lesson is going to be very vocabulary heavy. We're not going to do a whole lot of uh, actual computation with this lesson, but we're going to start building some of our mathematical vocabulary that we're going to be using throughout the year. If you remember back to lesson one, an expression containing variables, numbers, and operation symbols is called an algebraic expression. So for example, 5x plus 3y plus 8 is an example of an algebraic expression. Now the big thing that separates an expression from an equation is the expressions do not have an equal sign. Each expression is made up of what we call terms. These are the individual pieces within the expression. A term can be a positive or a negative number. It can be a variable. Or it could be a constant multiplied by a variable or variables. And each term in an algebraic expression is separated by a plus or minus sign. In 5x plus 3y plus 8, we have three different terms. The first term is 5x. The second term is 3y. And the next term is 8. And you can see these written out in the diagram over here to the left. If we keep going, if we have an expression that just has one term, we're going to call that a monomial. The prefix mono meaning one. An expression with two terms is going to be a binomial. Think of a bicycle. A bicycle has two wheels. We're going to use the prefix bi. An expression with three terms is called a trinomial. And then an expression with multiple terms, it could be any number more than one, we call a polynomial. This could have two terms, three terms, four terms, 100 terms if we want it. All right, going further with our vocabulary, a number with a fixed value is called a constant. In simple terms, it will be the number that's all by itself. So if we go back to the example we had on the previous page, in the box to the left, the 2x plus 4y minus 9, that 9 in green is our constant because it doesn't have any letters next to it. When a term is made up of a constant multiplied by a variable or variables, that constant is called a coefficient. So in the term 5x, the coefficient is going to be 5. If a variable does not appear to have a number in front of it, we say that there's an understood coefficient of 1. So we call that kind of an invisible 1 even though it's not written out for us to see, if we don't see a number in front of the variable, we're going to go ahead and say that that is going to be a coefficient of 1. So looking back to that diagram again, we had 2x plus 4y minus 9. The 2 is in front of the x, and the 4 is in front of the y, so those are both going to be coefficients. All right, so we want to know what are the names for each part of the algebraic expression in example number 1. We're given the expression 8x, plus 32, plus y. All right, if we are going to break this up, we're going to have one, two, three terms. And our three terms are going to be 8x, 32, and y. Our coefficients are going to be those numbers that are attached to variables. So in this case, I misread this problem here. I thought that was a problem number one, but it's 1.8. That 1.8 is attached to an x, so that's going to be our first coefficient. And then we have another variable y. Now, just like we talked about in the last slide, there's no number there, so we assume that there's a 1 there. So our two coefficients are going to be 1.8 and 1. And then finally, the number that's all by itself is going to be 32, and that is going to be our constant. All right, going to let you guys go ahead and finish up this video by attempting the U-Try problems. Remember, you can check your answers for these problems on the link on our webpage. See you guys in video two.